Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another GC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Bob Nedelicki. Want to give a massive shout out to my boy Cabrillo, the unofficial community manager, which if y'all know, you know. But shout out to my mans for letting me hop on his account to record this video. He got lucky enough to pull this Bob himself, and I'm excited to try this card out because I'm not kidding. I think he might be the best power forward in my team, but the only way to find out is to use him in gameplay. Before we do that, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 9,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day and i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it see what bob is looking like so 6-9 power forward 96 offense 99 defense with an 86 driving layup 95 post fade and post hook 90 midi 83 three ball 84 free throw 85 standing and driving dunk as well is really solid 85 ball handle for a power forward is amazing 94 block and interior is also incredible really good perimeter stats incredible rebounder 86 speed 84 excels a tiny bit low i'm probably going to boost that up with a shoe if i do wind up picking them up on my account which i think i'm going to but 83 lateral quickness as well 95 stamina 90 strength his stats are amazing and his badges are amazing as well huff area wizard dream shake fearless finisher anchor chase down artist menace post lockdown pogo stick works horse box out beast rebound chaser and brick wall he's got all the key interior defensive badges which is huge because he is only 6'9 at power forward but having all those key interior badges is going to really make him a great defender 32 goals as well include badges like back down punisher fast twitch masher post spin rise up amped catch and shoot corner specialist dead eye guard up limitless range slippery off ball bailout quick first step vice grip hand, ankle braces clamps challenger glove and her Scepter, off ball, pest, and pick dodger, silver bully, and rebound chaser as well. And then badges that you can add to the card would be badges like a break starter. That's a big one to add for sure. Outside of that, doesn't really matter that much. You can go on pluckable dimer, needle threader, ankle breaker, blinders, things like that. But really, the only key one to add is that break starter badge. But I think Bob's stats and badges are incredible. And I think that's really the night, but that's one of the great parts about the card. But that's not the only great part about the card. He also has an absolutely exceptional release. Bob's release is one of the best releases in my team. And I think it kind of makes up for the fact that he's a tiny bit slow, or at least you could say he's a tiny bit slow. Let's turn off that meter for sure. But he's got the O'Shea Brissett base, which is one of the best bases in the game. It is so smooth and so consistently easy to green, even with only an 83 three ball, especially with all the gold shooting badges that he has, including gold limitless range. He is going to be an absolutely incredible pick and pop shooter, a guy who can catch and shoot off the dribble as well. Look how smooth and fast this releases. It's just so butter. Also, not only that, he's got the MJ dribble style, the Giannis behind the back, or I'm sorry, Giannis size up. So he's got really solid sigs as well this card has a ton going for him because he can put the ball on the floor a little bit i know he doesn't have handles for days and he's not like an electric playmaker or anything but at least he can put the ball on the floor in a little for a little bit which a lot of power forwards can't do but then you couple that with an insane release amazing defensive hoffs um he is just going to be so so good i think bob really might be the best power forward in the game just because of how complete he is as a card he's even got front clutches doesn't have limitless takeoff but he's got front clutches which is the best safe dunk in the game right now besides quick drops which nobody has so he is just so so good this bob natalicky card is going to be incredible in my team. Let's hop into a game and see what he can do. All right, our opponent, he's got Magic, Glenn Rice. Let's see what else he's got. Paulo, KP, and Laurie Markin. All right, pretty solid squad for my opponent right there. This should be a pretty decent matchup right here. He's got Laurie at the four. I definitely think we probably have a relatively significant advantage, even though Laurie's a decent budget card using Nedelicki. But let's get into our offense and let's see if we can hit some shots. Uh, getting into it immediately, I did not mean to set the screen with Kareem there, but I didn't manually set it with Bob, which is my fault. Stop and pop. Bob Nedelicki, that's a little bit of a force. That wasn't actually a terrible shot. I do think I probably could have greened it, but I didn't. And Lonzo's not going to play that. That's tough. Uh, let's get right there, though. Yes, sir. Come on. Go get a stop. Nope. Not a stop. He gets right to throw him with magic. That's a good start for my opponent. Um, getting a stop and then a bucket. So shout out to him. But uh, let's get the screen here with Nedelicki, please. Thank you. I want to manually set the screen with Nedelicki because he's got that pick and pop ability. We got to use him as our screener. Catch and shoot. Bob for not. Okay, not a three. Long two, but he still knocks it down. We'll take the bucket there. Easy green light with Bob Nedelicki to start off the game. Can you please? We don't need settings. Come on. Let's just play the game. Um, all right. Apparently, we need settings. What is he doing settings on? It's clutch time. Like, I throw on a freelance. Sure, but. I don't know. Um, regardless, let's hop right into it. Let's see if we can play ourselves some D. This dude's going to try to probably five out with Magic. Yep, I assumed so. Because Magic, that's what Magic's best at is five outing. Good D by Bob. Why are we fouling though? Lonzo reaches in and fouls. That was an unnecessary foul. We were in position to get a stop there and Lonzo fouled for no reason, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Resets the shot clock. We can still get ourselves a stop for sure. He's trying to dribble with KP right now, which I don't know why he's doing that. And he's forcing up a shot with Laurie Markin as well. Same thing. Not sure why he's doing that either. But get our pick and pop going again with Bob. Um, okay, he doesn't set the screen. What is what is going on right now? This is very sloppy basketball to start off this game. Come on, we got to play ourselves some defense. Good D, Bob. Beautiful. Look at Bob hooping on the defensive end, cutting off the drive with magic perfectly. Uh, he's got nothing going. Straight up by Kareem. Straight up. Straight up. He just 
okay, he almost drop stepped Kareem with with KP. I was gonna be a little rattled, but Kareem's not watching it. Walk back for me, Bob. Pull up for three. That's a great shot, Bob Netalicki, and I missed it. Crazy. I gotta green that. That's a shot that is so so hittable, and I wasn't able to knock it down. And then he gets to the rim and dunks the ball. That's just on me, man. Nothing else I can say. That's just a shot I got to green, and I didn't, was not able to get that one to knock down. So it's on me. It is what it is. Uh, come set another screen, Bob, please. Yes, sir. Get the, get him into the screen. There we go. Good screen. That's a great brick wall animation. Uh, oh, but I got the bad. Oh, no. That's so tough because we actually had a good catch there, but um, I messed it up. Uh, I'm not playing very well right now. Good defense, Tim. We needed it. All right, Bob. Leak to the rim. Yes, sir. Throw me. Show me that front clutch. All right. Not a front clutch, but he does throw down the dunk in transition. Nice to see that there. And we are in a four to four game. Even though I'm not playing very well, Bob does have four points and he's still starting off the game pretty well. I don't think posting up Bob Netalicki is something you're going to want to do, though. He has too many good defensive Hall of Fame badges for that to be a good strategy. And look at the Hoff anchor getting an impact there. And he winds up missing the dunk. Uh, Bob, come set a screen, please. Look at the drag back. Yes, sir. Nice little pop. We got him crabbed. Beautiful. Bob for three. And and that's a beautiful shot right there. And now we're getting it going on both ends of the court. Good defensive possession by him. And then he turns it right into a three on the offensive on the offensive end. And that's what I'm looking for in the impact for Bob Nedelicki. Good lateral quickness as well. Cutting off Markin and beautifully. This is a great, great defensive possession. Absolutely phenomenal. He has nothing going. And that is an elite closeout as well. Let's get the board and let's throw the leak out. Yes, sir. Look at him going all the way. Standing dunk me. Good stuff. Bob Nedelicki with nine points and an assist. He or a rebound. He should probably have 12 or 15 if I was if I agreed to couple shots that I've missed, but regardless, he's still got nine points and he's playing really, really solidly, especially these last few possessions. Um, good. Get back to the corner. That's a tough shot. No chance he hits that. Bob with the Hoff rebound chaser snags that board as well. And we're pushing the ball in transition uh, behind the back. Ch yo, chill. I I'm like not trying to do this, some of these things. I don't know what's going on with some of these animations that I'm getting because I'm not trying to do some of these things, but attack the rim. Bob, draw a foul. Beautiful. We get to check out his free throw. All right. Never mind. We're going to get a quit. Let's hop back to the main menu. Let's review this Bob Nedelicki card. All right, so in conclusion, Bob Nedelicki, definitely one of the best power forward. I, no, I think he's the best power forward in the game. I think I can say that with confidence. Um, he just hit with, with all the defensive hops that he has, as well as how elite his releases and the fact that he can kind of put the ball on the floor as those front clutch dunk animations. He is an absolute dog. Really do think Bob is going to be an amazing, amazing card. And I'll say this, he's probably starting for me tomorrow in qualifiers. Definitely one of the best cards that came out today, and I do think he is the best power forward currently in my team. Really, really good all-around card. I definitely recommend picking him up for your team. So that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.